what's up guys i'm anamik and welcome to my channel the devil chats if you're new here please like and subscribe to my channel because i post videos for about a few times a week so uh, today i'm going to show you the development progress of this game and today i will solely focus on the animating a decorative balloon like this okay so the animation will look like this somewhat and it will be uh, it will be de decorated and uh, so this balloon will be placed on the walls uh, okay on the walls of the uh, indoor indoor level okay so there i'm currently working on this indoor level and i'm trying to design this level as as soon as i can yeah it's too pinky but uh when i fully design the level you will really you'll see that how it matures okay so it's not yet designed so for designing this level I'll just have to do some animation, like create some animating objects like this, like decorative decoration objects. So um, here, this is Spriter, and I use Spriter Pro for this, for animation and all. If you haven't bought it yet, it is available on Steam, and it helps a lot with animation and all that stuff. So you can also use other software, but I found it very easier. Like it, it's easier to use than any other software I've seen. So okay as you can see here this bell looks uh, like like this and I've already animated the single ones and now I'm, I'm going to animate the double ones okay so I'll just copy this and this is how I I do the animation okay now the next thing is I want to add another bell here okay so for that I'll just take this for instance uh, this one this pair okay now what I'll do is I'll just add this bone here okay similarly to that one yeah this is how it will work okay yes now what I will do this I will just add it to the bone okay I have assigned this sprite to this bone okay and similarly this this uh, this sprite has also been assigned to this bone so that it it can be manipulated using this bone only I don't have to like uh, move this uh, sprite okay so what I'll do is I'll just add it here like this okay different frames uh, and different ways to move right now the first frame this will be like this the first frame I have to change this one as well because it's not a single one right so something like this should do it okay now it looks kind of weird right now what I do is uh, I'll add this to all of the frames first, okay? Okay, let's do this. Let's add this bone first. It is not that hard. Okay, the bone has been added. Now I'll add the sprite. Yeah, done. Now the next thing is I have to do some of the animations. This first I'm setting this up like this, okay? For my convenience that is, so that I can animate better. This is how, how I do the animations, okay? It's simple. It, this software made things so simple that uh, I, I highly recommend you to check this out, like check this software out. It might be available at uh, at a discount during the summer sale. The summer sale is coming up very soon, so uh, you might want to grab it during that time. I hope this software will go on sale during that time because the summer sale is a really big event. So, let's see. Now what I'll do is, uh, I'll just move this mm, yeah but both of the animations should be a bit different okay so like this yeah 
it's a bit different. Now I'll do this. So let's see how it looks like. Yeah. This kind of look lame, yeah. Let's do it like this. Now we'll do this. While it goes down like this. Yeah, really look good, actually. First few frames are not well. Let's see. What should do? Yeah. Kind of look uh, different. It's, it's kind of funny to watch this kind of animation. Okay. Mm, no. It's like this. Yeah, it looks weird, right? Now, what I'll do is, um, I'll export it and see how it goes, okay? Because it, it will not be that fast, okay? So, I'll write film one double uh, animation. So, film one and three, okay? Because I've used one and three here. Wait. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'll import it here and see how how it is working. How is it looking, right? Otherwise, I'm be able to know if it looks good or not. So, sprite it down, uh, one three double. This animation looks pretty good for a single one, right? Now I'll import the double one and see if it works out. Six frames and this will be like 95. I think it's 96. That should do. And the lower one will be around 97. Now 100. The frames are a bit different so in one let's see no it will not be 101 okay it will probably be 102 96 let's see no it's 100 let's see if that works out yeah now it looks a bit weird now what I'll do is I'll just add a few for frames within okay to make it a bit a bit like normal like it, it now it now it, it really looks weird right so I'm trying to make it a bit better at least yeah this is much better did you see that it's okay it's, it's, it's fine absolutely Yeah, I'll give up with this, okay? This looks pretty good. And I'll just, what I'll do is, in order to have more like 1-3, I used 1-3 combination, then I'll use 2-4 uh, 
or two five something like that okay what i will do is it is a bit diff difficult okay because i have to like make changes to each and every frame while it saves okay uh let's go um I'll do is I will just first I will make changes to this one. Okay, I will not change the bone. I will just change the sprite. So what I'll do is I will just uh, which frame is the okay okay it is a bit difficult. So first change this frame. Okay. If you know how this basic animating software works, then it will be just uh, easier for you. You just have to know the basics. I didn't know the basic right away. I had to like, I I, I have been doing this animation and stuff uh, at least from 2017 or 18, something like that. When I bought this for the software, it was around 2018, I think. That's when I started. I got a hang out, hang out of it, like. Uh, I'm now able to use this software without any issues, okay? Now what I'll do is, I'll use the balloon 2 here, okay? Look, there's a problem. I have to make changes, right? You, you have to assign the bone again, okay? For this to work. I assigned it. Now I'll do, I'll do as it used to be like that. I don't have to change the animation. I'll just copy the sprites and it will work out. So, let's copy this like this it will move on its own okay you have to you don't have to do anything it's so simple now the next things i will do is i'll just um, i'll do the similar thing i'll delete this okay for every frame i have to delete it and uh, Let's see how it goes, okay? It doesn't have to be very complicated, right? I always find the most easiest way to do things, okay? You can say, yeah, I'm lazy, but I don't want to go for a really complicated path, okay? I don't have to be like the genius or something. So if you can use these tricks to make your game, the only pos like the only thing that is important is the end product. So I really do, I could care less what people think, okay? So, like everyone has a way to do things differently, and this is my way of doing things. You might have a different way of doing things, right? Now I'll assign this and put it here, okay? Now what I'll do is I'll just copy this, um, and it will work. Look, so simple. So. Yeah, it does look a bit different. Now I'll put it to here like this. Double. I used here two and four, right? Combination. Two and four, double and okay. Now let's see. I've exported. Now I'll import. Okay, the similar thing here. Dick. Build two four dub. Now what it'll do is it will be similar. Look at this uh, hundred ninety six. It's a bit bigger for some reason that's fine okay now I have to add this here uh, it's 98 100 102 103 I think 103 by 103 is what it should look like okay. yeah absolutely perfect now what I'll do is I'll add 
attract a few more frames within to make it a bit slower best so that it doesn't look abnormal okay pretty good yeah can you different okay this looks good let's save it always always save the project because uh, things might go bad if you don't save it and if something happens then you will be losing this progress as well so this is what I wanted to show you guys I don't want to make a really long video for this so I'll keep up with this for now okay this is how I animate and I'll do the animation and I'll show you how this level design would look like after I finish all of this and decorating and designing the level okay and I also told you that I will, I will show you how the level 7 plays out. I will show you in the next video, okay? Because today I couldn't. Uh, and maybe tomorrow, okay? So if you like this kind of videos, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel because I post videos for about a few times a week. And thanks for watching and see you again in the next video.